So after the abduction of Chandragupta Maurya in 300 BCE, Bindusara ascended the throne. Bindusara was the son of Chandragupta Maurya and because he was such a great ruler, he assumed the title Simhasena in Jain tradition. Now Simhasena means the one who comes to the throne. He also assumed the title of Amitraghata, which was in the Mahabhasya text. And what does Amitraghata mean? The destroyer of the enemies. Now, he was also known as Amitocrates or Elitrocrates, which also means the same, that is the destroyer of the enemies. And this was in the context of Greek accounts. So you see how Bindusara was known worldwide like in Greece from where he assumed these titles. So his might was not only limited to the Indian subcontinent but he was also well known across the continent. He ascended the throne and ruled from 297 BCE to 273 BCE. When he ascended the throne, Bindusara was only 22 years old. Now Bindusara wanted to carry forward his father's ambition of expanding the empire towards the southernmost region of India up till Mysore. So Bindusara is known to have conquered the land between two seas. Now why do we call the peninsular portion of India the land between two seas? As you can see this land is surrounded by water on two sides. On one side we have the Arabian Sea and on the other side we have the Bay of Bengal. So this portion is known to be the land between the two seas. So Bindusara is known to have conquered this land as well and also he brought 16 other states under the rule of the modern empire. Now with this, let me tell you a very interesting story how Bindusara got his name. Chandragupta Maurya was an emperor and as you know, emperors are always in the danger of being assassinated by their enemies. Same was with Chandragupta Maurya. So Chanakya came with a plan to mix very small portion of poison in his food so that the emperor gets immune to the attacks. Everything was going good, but one day his pregnant wife Darudhara ate from the same plate and unfortunately got ill. Now, in order to save his unborn child, Chandragupta Maurya was forced to get his wife beheaded and her womb was cut open to get the unborn child out. While taking the child out, a drop of blood fell on his forehead and this created a permanent mark. So this is why he was named Bindusara where Bindu means dot and Sara means forehead. How interesting it is that he got his name in this way. So when Bindusara ascended the throne he was only 22 years old. Now let us see the extent of his empire. His empire included places like Takshila, Kandahar, Patala, Sopara, Swarnagiri, Tamralipti and many more. He is known to have conquered the land between the two seas. Why do we say the land between the two seas? Because on one side we find the Arabian Sea and on one side we find the Bay of Bengal. So according to a record, he is known to have brought 16 states under his rule. Now can you tell me very quickly, Bindusara ascended the throne after Chandragupta Maurya. Is this true or false? Yes, it's true. So Bindusara was already walking following the footsteps of his father that was to expand his kingdom throughout the Indian subcontinent. But not only this, he also hosted many ambassadors from all around the world and he was very well known as you already know across the outside. So he hosted many foreign ambassadors like Dionysius who was sent by Ptolemy II from Egypt. And he also hosted ambassadors like Dimachus who was sent by Antiochus II of Syria. So you see how he had people from all over the world come to his court and stay. Here you see there are some coins which were made of silver during the reign of Bindusara. 
Bindu Sara was also closely related to the Ajivika sect of Jainism. So here, one of the fortune teller from the Ajivika sects also predicted that the son of Bindu Sara, that is Ashoka, will be a very mighty ruler. And as you already know that there is a mythology around Ashoka that he killed 99 of his brothers and royal officials to ascend the throne. And not only this, Ashoka was a very great ruler before whom Kalinga also bowed down and Kalinga was conquered by Ashoka. So it was Ashoka, you see how great a ruler he was and he proved the prediction to be correct. So here you see in the picture that you see, these are the Ajivika ascetics who have given upon the worldly pleasures of life and have devoted themselves to the learning and discovering of the Jain scriptures. So now you already know that Bindusara ascended the throne from 297 and he ruled till 273 BCE and he was a very mighty ruler. He is known to have conquered the land between the two seas. Why? Because on one hand we have the Arabian Sea and on one hand we have the Bay of Bengal. He also brought 16 states under his rule. So you see how a mighty ruler he was. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology, get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.